You're listening to Studio Sessions. My name is Darren Weber, and today we're on the phone with Morrow from Set Sights. We're going to be talking about two songs off of their debut album, The Heavy Alternative, as well as Reflection, Awareness, The State of This World. Stay tuned. Rise Above is one of the singles from your debut release, The Heavy Alternative, and for good reason. There's a very positive and empowering song that, that looks at someone struggling with his life and realizing that he's, he's not where he wants to be, but he knows where he went wrong and where he wants to go from there. What is the true story behind the song? So Rise Above is, is really about, like, it's about wanting self-improvement through self-reflection. It's about kind of like learning from your mistakes, you know what I mean? and not letting those mistakes paint the picture of who you are. Having that conscious kind of decision to, you know, be better, be that, be the, exa- be the change you want in the world kind of thing. That, that song is, is just that, man. It's just like, you know, people talk about, oh, like, I got to start doing this. I got to do this better. I, I can't be doing this all the time. And Rise Above is just about, like, I can, like, I can talk all I want, but it's about actually doing it. So... You know, I got to really just implement these ideas of positivity and, you know, living a just overall in general, like more positive life rather than sulking in the negativity and like, you know, soaking yourself in it daily. Like that's just like acidic to your body. You know what I mean? Especially if like, you know, you you have like past mistakes that haunt you. You know what I mean? Like it can be really, really difficult to try and try and like become that better version of yourself uh this band called have heart which i love to death and if you've listened to us i'm and you listen to them like you'll you'll hear like some of the influence one of the lines that their singer pat flynn said was uh it's so hard to change when the world don't see you any other way and 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 that's really true man like if i I, like really resonated with that because like you know if you got if you got a thousand people telling you like that you're a piece of shit soon enough your mind starts believing that too regardless of like your upbringing and you know who you are on the inside so rise above is just saying like fuck what the outside world's saying fuck what you're saying to yourself you know what's right do what's right now why do you think that it is so important to always strive to be better and to have that positivity when i say positivity i don't just mean like um uh, an optimistic attitude sure um i'm i'm personally i'm i'm i consider myself very realistic i understand like uh, like you can't just be on like one side of the spectrum you know what i mean you have to look at the whole circle i i personally think that like when i what like when i say positivity i think that means like uh positive actions for yourself you know i think that's important because like our bodies our lives here man on earth you only get what 80 80 years if you're lucky and that's like if you're a lucky motherfucker. So you only get 80 years if you're lucky, man. So it's like, would you want when you look back when you're in your deathbed, like, do you want to like remember yourself as kind of like an asshole, or do you want to remember yourself as someone who, you know, despite the odds, you know, changed that and became the kind of model person that you've always wanted to be? I just feel like, like you said, with uh, it's not enough to have like the positive words and that optimism. There's a lot of people who. Um, I don't know. They're they're kind of like those dudes who get on their soapbox and say like you can do it, but it's much more than just saying that you can do it. You got to go out there and you got to do, you got to do it. And it's it's not something that's so much as like, uh, you know, make a change, make a difference. It is, but it's got to be progressive. Like it can't just be, you know, like you said, it's not positivity is not just a, a one based word. It is there's so much more to it. Absolutely, I agree with that, man. Like, you know, if you want to talk about it, be about it, right? I've I've been like trying to, especially in the past uh, couple years, I've been trying to be like, that's like my saying. I'm trying to practice what I preach and walk the walk that I talk. You know what I'm talking about? I'm really, at least just on a, on my personal journey, what I found beneficial is just like you know, trying to walk the the right path in terms of like your instincts. You know what I mean? Because everyone, everyone, you know, has their different variations on what's right or wrong. Because life is just perspective. You know what I mean? Like, you only you get people who you know see you believe in you know heaven and hell and like you know want to live righteously to get into heaven. 
And, you know, you have people that even if they don't believe, they think that you you dead and you're just be rot in the dirt. They'll like act righteously just because they think that's the right thing. So everyone has their own versions of right and wrong is just kind of this determining what your truth is and, and following through with that to the best of your ability. There is a quote in the second verse that I really enjoy, and it's uh, a waste of mind is a waste of time. What does that mean and where did it come from? It actually came directly um, a, a half heart song. <laughs> um, a waste of mind. It, it, the, the original quote is a wasted mind is a waste of time. It's a, you know, half heart was a straight edge band. So I kind of played it, played the words a little bit around and, and kind of brought it to this perspective of living righteously, not just from abstaining from alcohol and all the things that, um, you know, all the, the very positive choices that uh, people in the straight edge community make, like it, it's beyond that. It's like you have a mind that is the most powerful weapon on the face of the planet. You know what I mean? Like our, our brains are like nuclear reactors in our heads, like just filled with electricity and ideas and imagination. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, if you want to just waste your life, which I, you know, everyone has their own definitions of what, what wasting your life is. But if me, if like you don't waste your time in your life just on um, bringing others down and, you know, living selfishly, if you're going to live your life wastefully, that's just a waste of the 80 years that you have here. It's a waste of your life. You know what I mean? Like, because in the reality, we don't know if there's a heaven and an earth. We don't, or sorry, heaven and a hell. We don't know if there's a if there's anything after this life so you know might as well just try to make it the best and the most make the most powerful impact you can make whether that's you know on a global scale or just like in your own family you know what i mean just you just gotta i personally think and not maybe not specifically like striving in the sense of trying too hard but just like you know walking that like that just walk every day just walking trying to you know stay in st- stay in the straight and narrow and trying to you know really really make the best out of your life because it's like you can you can do charity work you could do all these crazy nice things that you know society will applaud you for but at the end of the, at the end of the day if you a shite you know what i mean like you you only doing that for show right so absolutely like, you, you got to do it for yourself that's that's the main thing like about rise above as well it's like you gotta if you're gonna you know choose to be righteous and I don't mean like righteous religiously or like in in any sense of the word other than what's righteous to you. You know what I mean? Like if you want to choose to live a life where you walk your practice every single day and you, and you try to spread some sort of message, you got to do it to the T, man. And like it's hard because we're humans and we all make mistakes and stuff. But that's kind of like the the point of humanity is to make those mistakes and learn from them and evolve, you know. And that's what Rise Above is really all about. I absolutely agree. There's uh, one thing that I want to go back to real quick that you mentioned that I uh, find very important in my life, and that was the whole um, talking about reflection and taking a moment to really do some reflection and think about how you're living your life and the words that you're saying and, and how that's you know affecting yourself and those around you. Why do you think that that's so important? Like, what does that do for you? First of all, help me stop being such an asshole. Right. <laughs> um, you know, man, like, I'm not blaming, like, my prior actions on anyone but myself kind of thing and that's because of that reflection and you know in today's world you have yeah everyone pointing the finger at this is the reason of this and uh, this is why i'm acting like this and in reality you know what i mean despite re- anything like obviously you know minus or minus the um, obvious cases where some people just you know like have a, a problem you know mm-hmm. um but in all reality like at least in my reality i should say all my actions is just because because of myself. I don't care if I was high. I don't care if I was like intoxicated in any way. I, if I like, I really come to learn like all the bad I've done is because of me solely because of me. You know what I mean? And if I didn't have that time to reflect, I couldn't better myself. What, where I was at when I, those actions were made, whatever they may be. And I'm not talking about any specific thing. I'm talking about like just my 23 years of living on earth. You know what I mean? Just like, any, you know, anything I felt guilty for, anything I, have you know, had, you know, negative feelings in general towards, you know, like, it's just that, that taking a step back and just kind of looking at the bigger picture 
reflection really makes you see where you've gone wrong and where you can like kind of tune that and, and make sure you can like stay on the path that you're trying to walk without veering off again you know especially as well it, it helps you like kind of realize like what i'm kind of what i'm saying in the sense of how little time we have and how you know big this world is and how much how much more is out there because like you know at, at the on the flip side rather than just trying to improve yourself like you can get really you can get really down on yourself through reflection you know what i mean like you can like be like wow like i've done and i've been there man i've done like all these like horrible things or what i consider horrible things like it's like goes against my moral code you know what i mean like and you can really beat yourself up over that but through that reflection you can also realize with the combination of how big this world is and how many possibilities that are out there and how much like um <laughs> how much is just out there in the world for you to take in and learn and grow and evolve you know what i mean it, it, that mixed with uh, the fact that like we only have 80 years again if you're lucky can really just like take you out of that very like self-destructive place and and help you you know and, and it can it can really let you realize like you know what there's even though like you, i messed up even though i've done a mistake i'm a human being i'm like there's so much out there for me to learn and, and that can help me grow and i still have so much time for me to learn and to grow you know what i mean like whether you're 23 right or you're 83 you like you no know, until the day you die you got time you got time to turn yourself around and to to not even just turn yourself around, but to better yourself, to improve on on what you may already be doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just, it's just that, man. That that reflection is absolutely necessary to to continue evolving and growing. Yeah, absolutely. It's important to not only take into account your your actions and everything like that, but you also raise another good point, and that is the um, accountability of sitting there and realizing that it's nobody's fault but you. You're the one who who did those things, you're the one that has to make up for it, and at the end, you're the one who has to answer for it. Yeah, man. Our number one instinct is, you know, to run from your problems and all that stuff and, and kind of just avoid it. And I, I've, man, I've done that more than enough times in my life, you know what I mean? And I got to a point where I was just like, you know what, where am I running? I'm going to run out of places to go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can't just, I can't just turn my cheek like just as soon as you know things get rough life is always 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 going to be filled with bullshit filled with trouble filled with anxieties and different types of depression and different stages like you can't run there's nowhere to go you know in reality like there there really is nowhere to go so whether you you know make it that like taking a, accountability a whole public thing or making it a very personal thing you know what i mean i whenever i whatever i talk about is is on a very personal level right so when i say take accountability you need to actually realize what you've done and how bad that was you know saying sorry can only go so far right yeah taking that responsibility for yourself on a personal level is another kind of cog to turn the wheel of that change you know what i mean it's like if it, like you can look at yourself and and be like all right i want to start doing all this stuff to make myself a better person and you can do all that stuff and you can still feel you know shit because you haven't come to terms and you come having like put whatever it is that's like plaguing you at peace you know and i don't think that you can really do that without like taking that personal responsibility for yourself I couldn't have said it better. I mean, that you, you make a lot of good, valid points, man. And that kind of uh, segues into the next song, which is Violent Words. And that is the track that follows Rise Above. And, it, and it's pretty fitting, I think. Um, there, there seems to be like a similar theme between those songs, but Violent Words seems to be like a little bit more somber and has that reflective tone to it. Uh, in your own words, what is Violent Words about? <laughs> violent Words, man funny enough violent words is actually i'm pretty sure i'm 100 percent certain actually it was the first song that set sites wrote together as a collective of um of like with the pretty much the current lineup that we have now um so it's a very special song it's it's a lot it's honestly like 
from my perspective, a lot darker than Rise Above. Because Rise Above is just like, you know, hey, man, you can you can get out of whatever the fuck it is going, like, you know, that whatever's going on with you. You can get out of that. Like, you just got to change. You just got to be that change. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and Violent Words is more on the spectrum of like, yo, I have to, I, I can't change this. Like, it's more of a, some things are definite and absolute, you know? And you can't, you can't really change those facts. Like, for instance, death. Death is a is an absolute thing. You can't bring anyone back. You know what I mean? No matter how much you try, no matter how like how many memories you scroll through in your mind, you can't bring someone back. Um, loss, death, like all these absolutes in life, that song is about dealing with that. And that's just about like you have to come to terms with it. You have to accept it. Like and not not just like loss and death, but like even more like not not more permanent because what's more permanent than death? But um <laughs> As well as like permanent things, just like depression and anxiety, which are things that I didn't have to deal with up until I was more in my like young adult stage of life, you know. <laughs> and it was very, very strange, man. I didn't understand like how to cope. Like where I'm from, that stuff don't exist. You know what I mean? And where I like it, where I'm from, if you if you are depressed, if you're anxious, and you, you're like visibly showing signs of that, they'll put you in like like an insane asylum and just keep you there and like you won't get any like good treatment like how you do in america you know like it's just a song about really really coming to terms with the worst possible things in life man um that's why i like and so that's something my grandfather taught me a lot that like because he he was a great man and he went through a, a lot man i can't tell you how much just struggle and hardship man like, i'll just give put it into perspective for you like he was the man of the house when he was seven years old okay when his pop yeah when his pop left he was taking care of his mom he was working all at seven years old he started bro like it just shows how much of a different time it was back in the in the 20s you know what i mean like oh yeah absolutely man so he he really instilled in me before he passed that like, no matter what life throws at you, sometimes you can't change it, and you just got to accept it and just keep going, you know? And so that's why in that, in the song, I say I learned a lesson from a dead man's words. I have to accept coming to terms. There is there is a definite uh, theme of acceptance, but I don't think that necessarily it's it's a bad thing. Like, it's it's good to have that acceptance. Uh, that acceptance. There can be um, positivity within that, you know? Absolutely. Like, don't get me wrong. I only say that it's darker just because it's like, it's not in that positive light as Rise Above. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, it is just taking, I, I guess I want to even say it's negative. It's just more like realistic, you know? Um, and and that's just like, and, and you're right. Like it is a positive thing to accept those like absolute changes because, you know, even if they are detrimental, you know, like, at the end of the day, whatever is going to be is going to be, you know what I mean? Like whatever happens, happens and it is what it is, you know? So like you have to can just continue on, man. You can't let that stuff, you can't let that kind of stuff just, you know, put you in a box and keep you there for the rest of your life. You know, like you got to be sure to, you know, get back on your feet. You fall just to get back up kind of thing, you know? And a lot of, a lot of things in life are going to knock, knock us down as, I'm sure you know, and I'm sure anyone who listens to this knows, you know what I mean? Like, life is just filled. Life just has 3,000 hands, right? And each one of those hands has, like, a boxing glove on it made out of steel. And all life wants to do is punch you with each one of those hands at the same damn time, bro. And, like, sometimes you can block one of the hands. Sometimes you got to take some of the hands, you know what I mean? You got to learn to roll with the punches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to dumb it down. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that's absolutely. That, you're right, man. I mean, that's a great metaphor. Um, there's one more line in the song where you talk about viewing the world through your eyes. If I may ask, how do you view the world that we live in? Wow, what a loaded question, man. Um, um, when, I, when I said, if only you could see the world through my eyes, it was, it was in a very negative context. It's very like this world is shit. 
this like this world is just giving me shit. There's nothing but shit in this world. You know what I mean? Like very like pessimistic outlook on it. And um, that's why that's why I you know in the beginning of when you asked me about this, I said it's a dark darker song. I think the world's still a very very unfair, messed up cesspool of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, sure, yeah. It's just it's just an awful place with very backwards laws very backwards people very like there's a bunch of bullshit man life is life is bullshit like a hundred percent however right i don't think bullshit is necessarily a bad thing because the greatest thing about bullshit is that you can learn a lot from it right so i guess the way i see the world now is we're, we're living in a very broken era man like if you just look at all like not just i'm not just talking about in america too you know i'm talking about the world like my home country of Egypt, there was a, a, a revolution that happened. It barely, barely got any airplay on TV. Like I talk to people about it now and they don't know what I'm talking about. They're like, what? In Egypt? Why was there a revolution? You know what I mean? And it's like, that really just goes to show how messed up the world is. Yeah. But no, there's, a, there's not, a lot of like, ignorance, man. Yeah, absolutely. A shit ton of ignorance, a stupid amount of ignorance, an ignorant amount of ignorance. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I think that with with that, it gives us, we, we're living in an age also of information at our disposal, at our fingertips. You know what I mean? So it, it is really sad to see the amount of in, ignorance and, and bullshit that there is with like this crazy amount of technology that we have it really i personally think it goes to show you how much we really don't need it you know what i mean but right now it's like a, a pinnacle moment kind of thing in our time because like you know the older generation is, is is slowly fading you know what i mean next up is us right yeah so we were we were like raised our whole lives the older generation telling us like y'all are the future y'all are the future you know what i mean and it's like, damn, yo, the future's here. What now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like everyone's like, what now? And I think it's a pinnacle moment for everyone to kind of just realize, all right, we can really start to change things if we want to, you know? Because all, all that change really takes is just a change in the self. If you change yourself, those who really care about you will see that and appreciate it and maybe even try to change themselves if needed. You know what I mean? And the cycle continues throughout until there's, like, change throughout the world. You know, being that I'm only 23 years old, dude, I can't, I can't really say that, like, you know, I have as much experience as anyone's parents or anyone, or like, grandparents or anything like that. But I've been blessed to, you know, be able to have traveled a lot and seen a lot of places and a lot of things and meet so many, like, beautiful and shitty-ass people, you know. And all of that is a blessing. And all the lessons I've learned from that are huge milestones in my life and huge, 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 like, driving forces of my life, those lessons. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that if I could say anything to anybody who gives a fuck is that the number one thing that I found that gives me solace, that gives me that drive, that gives me any kind of reason to live is self-expression. Um, and I say this because I feel like we also, like, you know, speaking of the world today, like, we live in a world where, like, there's a certain mold or a certain criteria that you got to shape yourself or your project or your music or whatever the fuck it is into to, you know, gain notoriety and gain kind of whatever. And that goes from just, like, the, your aesthetic all the way down to what you present on social media, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and like your Sonics too, there's definitely like, um, some kind of, some kind of like unwritten criteria of what, you know, what's popping in the moment and, you know, all that shit to like kind of follow to get to where you want to go. If I could say anything to anyone, man, please just forget about that shit. Forget about any type of rule. Forget about any type of fucking like lead way into whatever like don't just don't fucking worry about it and express yourself to the best of your ability i don't like it really doesn't matter if it sounds like shit because there's a lot of pop and music that i think sounds like shit so it doesn't really matter what anyone tells you 
as long I personally believe that if you're expressing yourself from a genuine place and you're creating something that has your spirit inside of it, then that is the best thing anybody could do. And that's what I call a release. And people need to release their creativeness. People need to release the imagination that like society has kind of forced us forced us to keep in a box in a in a locked box you know what i mean like you know when they what what do you hear when you when you growing up your whole life you always hear grow up bro you always hear be a man or you know time to be act like a lady or time to you know act like an adult or whatever and it's like people usually think that that means giving up your imagination and like giving up all like the youthful aspects of your life and i think that's absolute bullshit and i think that's a problem i think people if they can take anything away from me i would only want them to take away the fact that is a that it is a hundred percent a hundred and fifty thousand percent okay to be yourself and to be ex as expressive as you want to i've lived like i said only 23 years and i've learned hard that people don't like that and honestly those people aren't right for you you know what i mean i'm not saying i'm not even like saying anyone in specifics i'm just like i've just annoyed a lot of people with how like rambunctious i can be and i think that it's a problem that we're just supposed to be like dumbed down creatures that are mad obedient and like do what they're supposed to like humanity is more than that i personally believe and i personally believe that like if you want to if you want to live your life and you don't want it to be wasted then express every single thing inside of you you know what i mean like all the negatives all the positives express it you know constructively don't don't hurt anyone or anything you know but express yourself please 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 express yourself love yourself and love that expression that's inside of you and let it out to the world and even if like literally no one gives a fuck you can be yelling on top of the mountain if no one gives a fuck who gives a fuck if they don't you know just do it do whatever you want to do do what makes you happy and do what you love and do do something even if it's fucking crazy because at the end of the day that's probably the best thing that will happen to you in your life <laughs>